we are asked to simplify and assume all variables are greater than or equal to zero. Notice for both expressions we have a negative sign to the left of the square root. Let's first look at the example below on how to simplify negative square root 16 or the opposite of the square root of 16. The main thing to remember here is that we focus on simplifying the square root like we normally do, but because we have a negative sign in front of the square root, the end result is going to be negative. So focusing on the square root of 16, to simplify we are looking for a non-negative number times itself or a non-negative number squared equal to 16. Because 16 is equal to four times four, four squared, the square root of 16 simplifies to four, but because we have negative square root of 16, or the opposite of the square root of 16, this simplifies to negative four. Going back to our problem, we first have the opposite of the square root of 81m squared, or negative square root 81m squared. We will first focus on simplifying the square root, and because we have a negative sign to the left of the square root, the final result will be negative. To simplify the square root of 81m squared, we're looking for an expression times itself, or the square of an expression equal to 81m squared. Because 81 is equal to nine times nine, and m squared is equal to m times m, let's write this as the opposite of the square root of nine times nine times m times m. And now let's change the order of the multiplication using the commutative property multiplication. Let's write this as the opposite of the square root of nine times m times nine times m. And because nine times m is equal to nine m, this is equal to the opposite of the square root of the square of nine m. And because the square of nine m, or because nine m times nine m is equal to 81 m squared, the square root simplifies to one factor of nine m, but because of the negative, this simplifies to negative nine m. Remember in this form, we can also think of the square root undoing the squaring, giving us one factor of nine m, giving us one factor of nine m, and then the result is negative because of the negative sign here. For the second example, we have negative or the opposite of the square root of 169z squared. Again, we first simplify the square root by looking for an expression times itself or the square of an expression equal to 169z squared. 169 is equal to 13 times 13. Z squared is equal to z times z. Let's write this as the opposite of the square root of 13 times 13 times z times z. And now let's change the order of the multiplication and write this as the opposite of the square root of 13 times z, which is 13z times 13 times z. Now that we have it in this form, we can write this as the opposite of the square root of the square of 13z, because 13z times 13z, or the square of 13z is equal to 169z squared. The square root simplifies to one factor of 13z, but because we have the negative sign here, the final result is negative 13z. I hope you found this helpful.